When you consider how to implement software in an enterprise setting, it's back to boring old stuff. The first question, which is often never considered, or at least if it is considered, it's in a minor way, is what are you trying to automate? It's a really important question. It's amazing how many people don't think about it. You know, particularly right now with this rush to AI, it's incredible. People are just saying, okay, we need to get AI enabled. It'll do amazing things for the company. Step down a level. What things will it do? What ROI will it yield in what use cases, in what setting, in what context? Who's going to use it to do what? And guess what that is? Boring old business process mapping. So people are too high level. They're not jumping down. So a single best practice, the single most important thing that anybody can do is to actually map what AI is good at doing, understand what it's not good at doing, and map it back to today's process. It's just amazing. There's going to be so much waste. There's going to be so much silliness. There's going to be a lot of geeky techie guys running around LLMizing everything. And this could be great. And this could be that. And it could be the other thing. And they'll deliver half-baked solutions that may or may not work. They will realize that they're hallucinating a lot. They'll try and bring in some I don't mean to be down, by the way, on IT guys. I was a former IT guy back in the day. But the reality is this is the nature of the beast. So if you let it run loose, you will get a lot of waste. You get a lot of unthoughtful deployment going on. So unfortunately for the, the tech guys, or fortunately for them, they can kind of run right right now because they're getting funded and lots of budget running around the place. But you have to come back to what is the job you want this stuff to do. So the best practice is, for me, the single most important thing is understand what is the job to be done.